Okay, so today I want to talk about why speaking too fast is a problem. I know some of you have it, just like me, it depends on probably like what you're talking about, but it can affect what it is you're going to say, the quality of what you're going to say, what your listeners listen to, and then your whole thought process, okay? So speaking too quickly, what it does, and I always have to just make sure I'm just slowing it right down, okay? So speaking too quickly puts pressure on yourself and it actually gives the words less significance of what you're saying. So if you're talking about an amazing topic, something really important, um, it's gonna be like life changing. If you're going too fast, people will not hear what it is you're saying because they're just like, all they can focus on is speed, 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 speed. And you know, I've always said before, time and time again, my favorite athlete is Usain Bolt and he loves to run fast. But when you're talking, particularly if you've got to deliver and um, it's an area you want to grow in, speaking really, really quickly is not going to help, okay? And when you speak fast, it's really, really hard for your audience to keep up with what it is that you're saying, what was important, what was the key part, all of these different things, okay? And you, and what you've got to remember is when you talk, I mean, if you're doing it on, you know, whatever the platform is, whether it's on Instagram, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, whatever, it's not Netflix. There's no rewind button to, hoop, to rewind or pause the favourite bit because their phone rang or the kid called them. You know, all these different things or the Amazon guy was there. There's no rewind button. It's not Netflix. They can only just hear you once and it's like, gone. So you want to make sure the time that you are speaking is going to go for it, nail it, it's poignant. Um, and if you feel rushed, you're going to sound rushed. And then the words you give out will be rushed, okay? All kind of links onto each other, yeah? And then you've got less control over what you're thinking and what is actually coming out of your mouth. So, and then that's going to give your listeners the idea that, mm, this gal can't even control the words that are coming out of her mouth. I don't really remember what she's saying. I don't really trust what she's saying. I'm not going to listen to her. No matter how great she sounds, how cute she looks, doesn't matter. I'm not going to listen to her. So when you speak really quickly, um, what can happen is you start saying random things out of your mouth because you're trying to catch up with what it is you're saying, the speed that you're going at, okay? And that's, and then what happens is you're gonna lose track of where you are, what you're supposed to be saying, the next topic in point, and then you end up just rambling, and then you just look even more, or sound even more ridiculous than what you did when you're speaking at Speedy Gonzalez level, okay? So, let's just breathe. And actually, just before I give you the solution, breathing, like, Ladies, come on, like breathe, just give yourself a chance. I do this shallow breathing, like breathing for your nose and out through your mouth, right? Okay, breathing alone is going to help you speak way better because I've said time and time and time and time again, right? Breathing is the fuel or the petrol for your voice. So if you control your breathing, you actually breathe pro properly. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. When you breathe, your tummy should be going in here. You should be getting like nice six pack and stuff going on, right? But if you breathe correctly, that should help you when you need to slow down or speak at a, a nice kind of even pace, okay? So the solution, that was that was just kind of sideways in there, but the solution I have written down, don't be angry, well, the solution I have written down right is that I think you should slow down, and the way you can slow down, natural way, not because I must remember that Leo said to slow down. No, slow down your breathing. That will have a knock-on effect on how you sound or when you're speaking. Because if you do slow down, you'll sound much more relaxed, steady, confident, and knowledgeable, rather than like dizzy, dolly, daydream who's just come up, jumping up. Oh, I've got to talk about this topic, uh, finances, sunflowers, <laughs> all of that stuff. Do you know what I'm saying? And when you speak at this fast speed, you put your body and your mind is like, it's fight time, you know? And your body doesn't know, your, your body and your brain doesn't know, is this a real fight or is, is there a fight coming? You put yourself in this high tense thing. You don't need to do that unless obviously you've got a fight coming. Um, so that's why I really encourage you, start first with the breathing. Um, and then that should have a good positive impact 
on how you're speaking. So learn to breathe quickly. Whether that means you start going stretch class, Pilates class, you start swimming. I've said to you ages ago, start swimming because swimming is one of the best things. A, it looks after your whole body. But B, if you can actually breathe properly in swimming, you will be able to speak confidently like, like never, ever before. Okay, so don't rush. Like there, there, there's, there's no need. And you actually start to mark up what it is you're going to say when you rush through what you're saying. It, it doesn't benefit anybody apart from maybe, I don't know, the next speaker or someone who's doing the time. I don't know. Don't rush what you're going to say. If anything, cut down what you're going to say. So if you've got that 15 minutes to give the work presentation, plan and practice for 10 minutes or something, okay? That's what my little suggestion is. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And then as well, if you've been asked to do like 15, 20 minutes, don't like pack it, pack it, pack it, pack it, pack it out. Condense what you've got to say. Give one point, two points. Never, ever give more than three points because no gang listen after that anyway, to be honest. And um, so that's what I really wanted to help you with today so that you can sound more confident. Speedy Gonzalez does not win the race unless your name is Usain Bolt in the Junior Olympics, da, 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 da. Um, but when speaking, slow it down. Don't go into slow motion, but just slow it down so you can think straight, you can breathe correctly, and you can actually articulate the words and know where you're going to be putting an emphasis on this podcast is really great. Have you subscribed? You know, stuff like that. So that's what I'm really trying to just encourage you. And I really hope this one has helped you today. Um, and I look forward to listening to all of you. Like, how are you going to tell me? Like, Leanne, I was able to slow it down and I didn't sound anxious. And my heart was not going boom, 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 in my heart when I was talking in the work meeting or the interview, etc. So I really do try that. Just slow it down. Start off with your breathing. That's where everything starts off first anyway. Control your breathing. Learn how to do that. Watch something on YouTube if you don't go swimming, you don't do stretch class, you don't whatever else I said to do. Go on YouTube. You must be going on YouTube at least and then learn how to really control and use your breathing properly so that you can actually use it to fuel your voice correctly so that when you talk, it's going to be amazing. Okay, I hope that one has helped you.